The Beach Boys with I Get Around from 1964. Lead singer and lyricist for that song, Mike Love, has been an integral part of the Beach Boys' sound since the group's inception, collaborating with his cousin Brian Wilson on enduring classics like I Get Around, California Girls, and Good Vibrations. In fact, he's just released his autobiography, which is called Good Vibrations, My Life as a Beach Boy. Mr. Mike Love, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks, Dave. Now, the song we just heard, I Get Around, as I understand it, not only did you write the lyrics for that song, but you helped out on the arrangement, too. Oh, yeah. I came up with the round, round, get around, I get around part, you know? Yeah. Um, Brian had a, a meandering kind of intro that, that um, there were a lot of little honeys that are hanging around all over town, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. And I said, well, what about if we started kind of like Bar Brand? Ba, 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 ba. Right off the bat, like which Barbara Ann was a favorite of ours, of course. We did it on our party album in 1965, just preceding the Pet Sounds album. But uh, I came up with that idea to do round, round, get around, I get around. Yeah, and of course, sang the lead and did uh, the preponderance of the lyrics on that particular <laughs> song. And it's it's obviously one of my uh, my favorite songs. Before we get into talking about the book, can I ask you about this story? regarding a saxophone this is the darndest thing i've ever heard <laughs> you lost it yeah, in 61 that, that's that sax- no it was 64 we oh. had just gotten back from australia and um uh i used to play the sax in the earlier you know earlier days of the group and that's when before we had all our own songs we would do instrumentals you know like right. let's go tripping and various instrumental songs and i would play the sax like far old Carl Wilson do the leads usually on guitar, and um, it was left behind by one of our roadies who happened to be a cousin of the Wilsons um, in a place in Ohio. <laughs> and just last month, um, we were uh, doing some shows in Ohio, and lo and behold, the um, the old saxophone surfaced again. I heard about it a couple months before that. And some people were going through some things and and found the saxophone with an Australian uh, decal on it from, from <laughs> when we went to, we, we were going through Australia back in the day. Anyway, it was really nice, really nice family, the Ward family, and, and they came and presented me with the saxophone, reunited me with it. It was just <laughs> really the most incredible thing to have been missing for over 50 years. <laughs> the Beach Boys, of course, with Shutdown, Mike Love on lead vocals and honking saxophone. Mike Love is our guest today on the Vintage Rock and Pop Shop. Mike, your new book is called Good Vibrations, My Life as a Beach Boy, and you could have written this book at any time in your career, really, and people would have been interested. Why now? Why was now the right time to uh, put this book out? Well, I think there have been a lot of questions that, that have been raised by, by my family, by my, 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 my kids, you know. And, um, and I wanted to, to write my story uh, so that it just, I mean, you know, there have been millions of words written about the Beach Boys, and that's fine. And a lot, of, a lot was written about, you know, Dennis and his, Roommate Charlie Manson. People are fascinated by that, and mm-hmm. and of course a lot written about Brian. And in some s- situations, there's absolute mistruths out there about what I said or what I did and all that. And I figured, well, there's, you know, I ought to just document my perspective, my journey, uh, my part of this journey w- with the Beach Boys, and I, I. Uh, I met a, a really great author who's a fantastic researcher, and he, he helped put the thing in, in total context with, um, I mean, there's this is several of us involved in the creation of the Beach Boys. I mean, uh, multitudes of people, really. But the principal members and their lives, um, you know, we can't discount that. And so we had to... It, you know, kind of blend it all together. So it was, it was quite a process. It took over two years to do. And um, it, a lot of it was emotional. You know, there's death of loved ones. My cousin Carl uh, succumbing to 
lung cancer in, in February of 1998. Well, I did an audio recording of the book as well. So there, I spoke it out. For three and a half days, I was in my studio in Lake Tahoe, and uh, my home studio, and uh, recorded the entire book, read it, read it out. And, and so... And some of it, some parts were very hard to, you know, emotionally to <laughs> to get through without getting choked up. I mean, yeah. Carl, you know, very sick and in a wheelchair in his last show with us, and and or my sister passing away from cancer and things like that. I mean, those are those are tough things to, in anybody's family, anybody's life. And um, and but there's the highs as well. There's a, the, the the you know being voted the number one group in England, number two being the Beatles, and back in 1966 on the strength of Good Vibrations, and writing some of these great songs with my cousin Brian, and and um, and so on and so forth. So there's a, a ton of things in the book which which uh, just it's just my perspective, my you know recounting uh, my life as a Beach Boy as as I lived it. Well, again, the book is called Good Vibrations, My Life as a Beach Boy. Obviously, this is the 50th anniversary of the song Good Vibrations, but I I would think that maybe you chose that title for the book because, obviously, yes, there were some negative things, as there is in everyone's life, really, but overall, being in the Beach Boys at the end of the day is a positive experience for you. Oh, it's huge, and and I think there's all the things that, that happen that aren't aren't so great uh, to recount or live through, for that matter. But that would lose sight of the the overwhelming positivity of what the music has meant to so many millions of people. The happiness that's generated, the joy, the 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 serenity in some cases, the the, the healing. Uh, I've had numerous vietnam veterans tell me how how much our music meant to them it was a sense of home even being thousands of miles away and doing what they had to do and you know single parent mothers who who would play the beach boys while they're cleaning the house and stuff like that just simple (laughs) things but it added so much pleasure and joy and happiness to their daily lives and and memories you know memories that we all have uh the the that are associated with music and the times, the, your favorite song at a particular time in our life and stuff like that. So there's millions and millions of people who have, who have gotten great enjoyment and pleasure uh, out of the Beach Boys music. And that, I, that, I think that's the main story there. <laughs> Our guest today is Mike Love. His book, which is out now, is called Good Vibrations, My Life as a Beach Boy. And we were talking about how Beach Boys music brings joy to people, and you use the word serenity. And I think the song we just played, The Warmth of the Sun, is a good example of that. I would think that this has to be the driving force behind your substantial touring schedule these days. I mean, it's not like you have to perform, yet you still love to do it, and the audiences are there. Well, you know, the thing is, when, when we step out on stage and start doing our songs, the happiness that those songs generate is just amazing. You know, to, when you consider we started over 50 years ago, and here we are doing, let's say, Surf and Safari, which which was a hit in 1962. Yeah. And all ages are singing along. Kids, you know, grandchildren, <laughs> 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 parents, you know. All generation, multiple generations can not only coexist, but enjoy the Beach Boys music together, which is, I think, fantastic. Well, before we go, I'd like to ask about a song from the Beach Boys 1970 album, Sunflower. It's not a really well-known song to the general public, but over the years, its stature among Beach Boys fans has risen considerably, and you've occasionally performed it on tour this year, and that's the song All I Want to Do. It's just a beautiful song. Thank you. Yes, there have been a lot of requests from um, real serious fans of the Beach Boys who know everything we've ever done. That's one of those songs that was not a hit, but it's one that's loved by many people, and I I do get a lot of uh, requests for that. So if we're in a venue where it's conducive to that, that's a it's kind of a subtle song, you know, it's a sweet 
tender song. I mean, it's, uh, I think the acoustics have to be right and the venue has to be right and the audience has to be <laughs> uh, appreciative, you know, the right. type that would be appreciative. But yeah, it's, an, it's, a, it's a sweet little song to do. Yeah, and and I do enjoy doing it. But what I enjoy the most is that people really take it to heart and and find it to be one of the most um, meaningful songs to them of, of of the Beach Boys catalog, and that's an honor. And I and I like to you know I like to do it when when the the times and the place is right. Well, we'll go out on that song. Mr. Love, it's been a pleasure to speak with you again. The book is called Good Vibrations, My Life as a Beach Boy by our guest today, Mike Love, available at Amazon and bookstores everywhere. For more information about tour dates, you can check out thebeachboys.com or mikelove.com. Sir, I can't thank you enough for spending some time with us, and you have a great rest of your day. Thanks a lot for having me on the program. 